cut that off. I can't see. I can't see it all. What's going on, guys? I'm posting this on Instagram right now. And then we will get started talking about the news. This is going to be interesting. How are you guys doing? Having a good day? Oh, let's see. Can you see everything? Does it all look good? Am I way too big? I feel like I'm way too big. We need we need to shrink a little bit. There we go. Much better. Okay. Oh, what's up, Swamp Stomper? There is quite a bit going on in the world of BMX. As usual, we're just getting this posted on Instagram. And uh, then we'll get into it. No hate, but do you ever plan on ditching the Bieber hair? Well, considering the fact that I would look extremely weird with short hair, I'm going to always have long hair. <laughs> this is exactly how I thought the news would start. Um, today sucked. It was it was not too hot to ride here. But anyways, for those of you watching after the fact, this is BMX News, the weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that I think you guys might care about that's going on in the world of BMX. We're doing it a little different today. We're doing it live, as you can see, with uh, this screen capture that we've got going on. We're going to watch the videos with you guys and we're going to talk about them as we watch them in the background. So, first video of the day and in the sponsor news for this week, because this is the only sponsor news for this week, is Zachariah Dangerfield, Welcome to Colony BMX. This video is awesome. Simply put, let's get it playing. Oh, we got muted. So... When it comes to this video, first of all, have any of you watched it? That's one thing I'm curious about. If any of you have watched it yet that are in the chat, and if you're watching this after the fact, let me know in the comments if you watched it. But basically, the way I thought about this video was, when you think about Colony, you think of crazy tech, and this video, as you're seeing right now, does not disappoint when it comes to crazy tech. He just bar spinned into a hang five, went into a foot jam, and then into a fakie. Completely nuts. And a fakie whip. So, there's so everything in this video is crazy. He just did a bar into a hang five stall. First of all, have you ever seen anyone do a hang five stall? Let alone bar spin into it. And then, uh, at the there's a couple uh, clips at the end of this that I'm kind of spoiling because I didn't plan on doing this. It kind of just came up as an idea. But the highlights I was going to talk about are the double bar to double peg tail whip in, and then following that, the tail whip to double peg to double par in. So much crazy tech in here. This dude is obviously a very good fit for the Colony team. <clears throat> and the last clip, the last clip's crazy. Actually, you know what? The clip I'm talking about isn't the last clip, but the last clip's crazy too. The clip I'm talking about is the hang five nose jam press, whatever you want to call it, on the double coping sub box, sub rail. That's crazy, Dan. 110 is way too hot. There's the double peg to tail whip that we were talking about. Oh, thank you, Matthew. Tuning in all the way from Guam. BMX News is international. So uh, this is it as far as the sponsor news goes for the week but we can let it keep going there's only about 40 seconds left this is the clip i was talking about hang five nose jam on a double coping sub rail 
Yeah, Guam is crazy. What's up, Tyler from Michigan? That's awesome. We got Guam, we got Michigan, we got Arizona, we got the swamp. We got everybody in here. Crazy stuff going on in this video. And this would be the last clip. You have to watch it if you want to see it. Sorry. <laughs> Links are all in the description down below in the order that we're talking about them. Let's click off of this one. So next stuff we have to talk about contest and jam news. There is a jam called Helsinki Street Jam 2018 BMX. This is the video title. Let's uh, actually, you know what? I didn't have anything to say about this one to jam street jam in Helsinki. Probably worth checking out for you guys. It's about the same as your average street jam video that's come out recently. And then we had another street jam video from New Jersey with the Dirty Jersey crew. They kept, they hosted a street jam in New York City. So it's pretty cool. We had New York City and Helsinki, two different jams going on, two different places. Oklahoma. We got Oklahoma, Michigan, Arizona, Guam, the swamp. We got everybody. And then, so that's uh, two Street Jam videos that went on this week. After that, we have a jam flyer for Dennis Anderson's new video premiere. And the video is called Caps Lock. Hashtag Caps Lock. <laughs> There's a premiere jam going on. It's going on at Claremont Skate Park in California on July 28th. There's a $5 entry fee, just so you know if you're in the area and you're going to go. It's not a free one, but you get to watch Dennis Sanderson's video at the same time. So it's definitely going to be worth it. Dennis's stuff is crazy. I'd probably pay $5 to hang out with everyone and then see a Dennis Sanderson video for the first time before anyone else. So you got that to worry about not to worry about so you got that to look forward to if you're in the area not worry about that's funny so that's it for contests and jam news next we can move on to my favorite video from this week that we are absolutely going to play this one is playing on dig bmx and this is chris o'neill from the middle of ireland according ireland according to the description no ads get out of here um yeah, this is the new school video of the week. If you watched last week, we had the new school video of last week, but the catch is that this video does not have new school music in it. <laughs> the swamp is actually Ohio, so we got Ohio, Michigan, Arizona, Oklahoma, Guam. We got everybody in here. And we got this crazy video playing from Chris O'Neill. Tons of crazy riding in here, new school stuff, all put together very, very well. And uh, this dude obviously has talent. All you have to do is watch the video. Why is the desktop audio playing? We're gonna get copyright striked. Hopefully not though. Anyways, so this is the first video that I watched from this week when I watched it this morning and I had a feeling it was going to be my favorite and it definitely was my favorite and it's pretty cool because it's more of a new school style of riding but it was still my favorite you see that bar spin off that little ledge it's crazy i might have been blocking it you know what oh we got nebraska too nebraska michigan oklahoma the swamp ohio ohio and the swamp are the same thing guam where else i'm forgetting one arizona we got everybody. Uh, let's see. So what's going on in this video? Feeble grind, bar spin. Was it opposite feeble? It was opposite feeble, the Smith nose bar regular. This is a good video. I liked how that guy, the filmer stopped the skateboard. But it's just an enjoyable one to watch and it had good music in it. And like I said, I thought it was going to be my favorite, and then it ended up being my favorite. There was a couple that came close to beating it, but couldn't quite keep up. You got the new tire, tires, Tyler. I remember you asked me to check out your uh, 
Instagram or YouTube page. I think it, yeah, it was your YouTube page and you sent it to me on Instagram. That 540, did that in a line. Awesome. Hard 180 bar. Just got P back from PA. Concrete parks are honestly scary. I'm pretty sure it's called Snaggletooth. Did it to 180. It's just, this was a very enjoyable video, so we're going to watch the whole thing. I kind of don't understand why they put, maybe this rail was harder, higher or something, but they put a hard 180 bar before a regular hard 180. And then we got the big old 360 bar speed truck driver. Do you like Daryl now? That's known as a truck driver where you spin the bike and the bars 360 degrees around. Do you see the spots in this video too? I'm assuming this is around Ireland if it's not all Ireland. What's up, Manny? Everything is good. This clip is nuts. Pegs to double tire to tail whip. And then the reaction. So awesome. These guys are obviously just having fun riding their bikes and documenting it. And this kid is crazy. Pretty rad. This video ruled. All right. So we'll, uh, we'll close that one. This is from the boardroom. If you want to read more about it, there's stuff to read in the description on Dig. And there's a link in the description as well if you guys want to follow along with everything that we're talking about as we're talking about it. Pretty cool. Next, we're moving on to someone who's somewhat local to me. Tommy Crail 2018 video from Standard. And honestly, Tommy is one of the best riders around here that like nobody knows about within like the greater BMX community. Dude can do just about anything he wants to. Seems like he's always having fun doing it. This is, I'll give you guys a little bit of taste of this one. But I will tell you, but I'm not going to play it. We're not playing it. But the last clip in this video is a fakie front flip 180. So I think that's like a fakie front flare. Yeah, fakie front flare to fakie. So crazy. This video is awesome. The wheel mill raise. If you watch my videos, you know I ride that room. This guy's place is called Tim's Barn. Looks awesome. Truck to X up. Big old table. Yeah, this video is a good one. We won't play the whole thing. We can play a bunch of it. I did hear about the Connor Keating jam. Pause the news. Someone in the someone in the comments just reminded me. There is when's that jam going on, Tyler? We'll replay the video until Tyler tells us when the jam is. But there is a Connor Keating jam, rides for stranger, primo, I'm pretty sure. Uh in Michigan. I think it's a street ride or it's a TRP, one of the two. But we got Tyler Winners in the chat who's gonna let us know when it's happening and where. Big old flip barrel roll transfer. Backflip X up one footer. Boost into dirt jumps. And then a flip whip. It's a good video. But we are going to stop it right here. If you guys want to see that fakie front flip flare back to fakie. It's the last clip. And you probably don't want to miss it. Next, we are moving on to Francis Lilande. The video is called Francis Lilande BMX Compilation. This one almost became my favorite video. Oh, it was. Okay, just kidding, guys. The Connor Keating Jam was last Friday. <laughs> so we missed it, but I'm sure it was a fun time, and there will probably be a video. So here's Francis with a 
bad crash. This video, so awesome. It starts out like so sick. Lots of, lots of creativity in here. I just felt like when it came to this video, if he would have focused on stuff like this, the creative stuff throughout the whole entire thing, if he does that in the future with a video, it will be epic. Cause right now, this video feels like the start of a like legit DVD part. This manual tire slide foot plant 180, just creative. Spot usage there, it's awesome. And then this, this setup's so sick. It's a good video. Just one of those things. All of this stuff in the beginning is awesome and then it just kind of slows down a little bit. If you would have focused on the creative throughout the whole thing, at least I would have enjoyed it a lot more. And the music. Some kind of foreign music. You guys can't hear it, but <laughs> click the link if you want to listen to it. Oh, I'll be at Ray's whenever it cools off. We can't be riding Ray's whenever it's warm outside. Can't be inside when it's nice enough to ride outside. Foot jam crank flip. Stuff like that is just so awesome. And that, pole jam up a fence post. It was a good video. Kind of cased a little bit on that last one. That's okay. All right, moving on to a dream rail session from Focal Point, also uploaded to Dig's YouTube page. And what I want to say about this one is that no rail session will ever top the rail session from Eric Hawley in Road Fools 15. I haven't seen very much of Road Fools and props and all that, but I have seen this, and this rail session is crazy. We're going to play this one after the dream rail session from focal point. Boom. So the vibe of this video is the best part. I think the song also went with it pretty well, which I know you can't hear right now, but if you do want to hear it, link in the description. I think my favorite part from this video is an up rail to no foot can one hander, which honestly, we could probably find it in here. It's towards the middle to end. Let's see. Right there. Back up. Right here. Yeah, the slider was rad. Up rail, no foot can one hander. Pretty sweet. This is definitely a dream rail session. Doesn't top Eric Holly's, but. This was a good video and the vibe in it, random dogs hanging out with them. Look at that. They just look like they're having fun. Definitely one to check out if you guys like rails and grinding rails. Then we can move on to one from Shadow and Sabrosa. The concept of this video is simple. Take all the guys who ride for Shadow and Sabrosa, put them all in a video together and it made a crazy one. With all the names in this video, Matt Ray, Mark Burnett, Trey Jones, Joris, all these guys, super good riders, completely insane. This video, like, it was like mesmerizing how good it was and you kind of get lost with how much insane stuff's going on. I think Matt Ray's section was my favorite personally. <clears throat> yep, Ray's is the place to be in the winter. That is for sure. But yeah, with names like that, this video is, you know what you're getting into when you watch this video. We'll click like the way through. Oh, right at the end of Trey Jones section. Let's watch the end of Trey Jones. This is nuts. This is worth clicking to. The tuck no hander and then the last clip, the pegless ice grind thing. Super insane. This one's worth 22 minutes of watch time. But it was the last video I watched this week, so I was like, uh... So nuts. 
Oh, I want to come out to Jersey again. I just posted that clip from the Merritt Warehouse. I want to get back out there and ride with Luke and Ricky and all those guys. But yeah, if you guys like Sabrosi, you like Shadow, you like any of these guys, you're going to like this whole video. It's definitely worth checking out. Then we've got How To Turn Down with Anthony Napolitan, which honestly I don't think will teach me how to turn down because my body just isn't going to do it. I'm, maybe I'll make a video about that one day, but if you want to learn how to turn down, this is the video for you. He talks about everything you could possibly need to know, and he breaks it down. He actually talks about how complicated it is. Definitely a good one if you want to learn how to turn down. And uh, these are all, or this is the last video that I wanted to talk at least in depth about this week. But if you watch the news videos, you know that there are a ton of videos that are worth talking about and worth mentioning. So, well, let's just list off those videos right now. First one is a Flatland video from, uh, it's a following Ephraim Catlow. If you see right here, I'm highlighting it. He's a two times world champion Flatland rider and it's called Pro Rider Responsibility. Honestly, it's one of those ones where it's like, if you're into Flatland, it's worth watching. If you're not, maybe you'll get something out of it. Check it out, let me know what you think. Very well put together. Then after that, we've got Pat King's banger section from Band 5. Felt like this one had enough views to make it worth, or not to make it worth, to make it one that people have probably already seen. I wanna highlight people that maybe you haven't seen their videos yet. It's a good video. If you watched all the rest of the band videos, then uh, you gotta watch this one too. So there's that one. There's a little taste. Check it out if you wanna check it out. Then we got Trey Turner's 2018 video. This feels like the second or third 2018 video, but Trey is the hang nothing, hang five, pervert, manual, whatever you wanna call it, master. He can do all of them. He can do them in, out of grinds, all that good stuff. If you're a fan of Trey's riding, which is pretty unique because he does a lot of stuff on the front end that people aren't doing like this. I don't even know what that grind's called or that nose manual, whatever. Tray rules. So there's a little bit of a taste of this one. Boom. Next video I want to talk about is a promo for Lightworks. The third promo. This is a video from Bobby Canode. He used to film all of Sabrosa's videos. This is done all at night. It's a promo for his video, which will be coming out at some point. We've got full sections from this list of guys right here. Joey Mata, Troy Blair, Drew Hustleton, Eric Ballman, Brian Grant, AKA HORSE in all capitals, Hayden Schimmel, Travis Cordova, Jeff Westcott, Cody and Dawson Clark, and Nick Bonnell. 10 bucks at the door if you want to see it, July 1st in the, at the Phoenix Center for the Arts. Check it out if you're in Arizona. It's going to be worth your time. We'll watch a few clips here. Dawson Clark. Wall, wall 180. Not too bad. Dude, that slider through the sand. We can end it on that. That was pretty sick. If you're in Arizona, you're probably going to want to check that out. And you definitely know who Bobby is, so you're going to want to support him. Next, we got a video from Ben Thompson, Benny BMX05 Thompson on YouTube. It's uh, his 2018 edit, which opens with a 540 over a spine to fakie crank flip. Bar tuck 180 over a spine, definitely awesome. You guys can check this one out if you want to. If anything that you just saw catches your eye. And next, we can move into the quickie. Check it out if you care news from this week. First, we have Parker Heath's What I Ride BMX, BMX, What I Ride Bike Check from Ride. Parker Heath talking about his bike, mostly Haro parts with demolition stuff on it. Haro from
frame with demolition parts. And that's all the bike checks for this week. So it really is quickie. Check it out if you care news. Next, G Sport 2018 summer shirts right here. Got it in white, got it in black, got it in the black with the mini G Sport logo across the front. Check it out if you want one. And now we're talking about products, obviously. So we're going to talk about a new free coaster how to that came out from, uh, let's see, Far East Cycles. It's their free coaster, and this video is meant to use as reference for how to take apart and put back together the free coaster hub from Far East Cycles. So this coaster is another cassette based free coaster, similar to the uh, Z coaster from Profile, but this one has two paws instead of three like the Z coaster. Um, it's mainly, or it was built for Flatland, but if you look at the hub, let's get a closer view on here. Where can we find a closer view? I mean, that looks like it's, it could take some street abuse too. Street and park, definitely. So let's, let's zoom in. Skipping through this video a little bit. It's hard to describe this one in words. Okay, there we go. So as you can see on the screen, it's got two paws. It's got those things that go together. You literally can't describe this. You have to watch the video to understand it. But it's got these moving parts that turn it from the cassette mode to the free coaster mode. Looks very interesting. Everything's kind of condensed into a small package that then goes into the hub shell. So if you want to check out a new style of free coaster hub with two paws and a cassette design, cassette based design, check that out in the description. And then next, we've got a video from Ride called In the Volvo with Ryan Biz Jordan. It's Biz, my drink of water, Jeff Z in Jeff's Volvo. Oh, it's my see-through bottle of water. Okay, so basically the premise here is Biz and Jeff are driving around in Jeff's Volvo, doing an interview, talking, as they're driving from place to place to ride. So this one definitely makes it more interesting and keeps your attention better than like a traditional podcast of guys just sitting there. So, uh... If you get sidetracked by a normal podcast or you can't pay attention, this is definitely one that makes it easier to pay attention to. They go and ride, so there's riding clips in here a little bit as well. And they talk about BMX, so hearing pros talk about BMX, nothing better than that. What are you guys thinking of this in the chat? Are you enjoying the live BMX news? And should we play BMX Pipe after this? <laughs> So as they're talking, they're driving around, showing uh, Mike Stahl. He rides for S&M, crazy crank arm. They're talking about that spot and something that Biz did there, or was trying there. Some really old Biz footage from contests and whatnot. That's awesome, Pat. Play Matt. I gotta get Matt Hoffman optimized for my computer before I can play it on here. I have it optimized for American Wasteland right now. So anyways, the concept's pretty cool. Talking to Biz. Then after that, we've got a completely different style. An SNM team update where Kareem Williams calls all of the dudes from the SNM team and even Brandon Began, who rides for Fit, and uh, pretty much just asks them, asks them what they've been up to. This one was entertaining to watch. Kareem's world are always entertaining.
basically what happened was half the team ignored him and half the team <laughs> answered the phone. So if you want to watch that one, check it out. Um, then we've got a from the dungeon from profile talking about the horseshoe pedals. These are pretty iconic when it comes to BMX collectors and it's interesting every single time to hear about all this old stuff from profile. They've been around for 50 years. <clears throat> but yeah, these pedals, they've been around forever. Literally, they've been around. And he talks about why he designed them to try and get an edge in the racing world. So if you're interested in that, it's definitely worth listening to, at least listening in the background. And in the end here, there's a cool note. So earlier in the winter or not earlier in the winter in the winter time i bought a box of old school parts and ended up selling them to a buddy and they had this box in them that the horseshoe pedals were sold in and it had a piece of wrapping paper that was still taped to the bottom of the box and it had an address to the bike shop that they were shipped to on it so somebody got these pedals like for christmas or a birthday or something opened them up and that box was still there with the tape and all of that not the tape with the wrapping paper on it and I ended up with it and I gave it to my buddy who collects old school stuff because I put it on a shelf and never care about it but it's pretty awesome to see Jim get so excited about having this box with brand new horseshoe pedals in it and knowing that somebody out there has one of these as well but anyways moving forward we've got the rollback podcast from Vital BMX this time with Dan Foley I haven't had a chance to listen to any of this one yet, but Dan is somebody that everybody enjoys watching, and it's always awesome to listen to the people that you enjoy watch riding, talking about riding, and just talking in general. I'm sure that it's worth checking out. And then we can continue with a Flat Matters Chad Johnson interview from Flat Matters, which I just said. Uh, if you're into Flatland, you know who Chad Johnson is. This is probably worth checking out for you. I don't have much to say about it because I'm not super into Flatland, but it's probably good. Let's see what the comments say. Certified OG, great interview, <clears throat> uh, great read, pioneer. So awesome interview. I'm sure it's worth checking out if you guys are into Flatland or into Chad Johnson. Then we've got Corey Martinez on Ride BMX Feeble Talk. As you can see by the timeline, I am at 34 minutes in this one. <clears throat> this one has been entertaining so far. They talk about real BMX. They talk about his ender from real BMX. They talk about, let's see if we can see it in this, his hand injury, which he got from mountain biking, a crash. Um, basically, just like all the other feeble talks, it's worth checking out and listening to. It's only an hour long, so everybody's got an hour to kill here and there. And then the last thing, maybe, yes, the last thing to talk about this week is uh, the SoundCloud, not SoundCloud, I'm reading while I'm trying to talk, <laughs> the BMX in Our Blood podcast part number two with Crandall. I listened to part number one at least most of the way through, and it was very enjoyable and awesome to listen to. Crandall's, like I said last week, is one of those people that you could listen to telling stories like all day long and never be bored. So part two of this is probably just as good as part one. I haven't listened to a ton of it. We tried listening to it on stream, but they weren't really talking about BMX. Like specifically, they were talking about other things that it wasn't conducive to the stream. So we turned it off, but I'm sure in another setting, it would be awesome to listen to. And Joe always does a great job with these interviews. But anyways, uh, that's going to be the end of BMX news for this week. At least the news portion of this. I think because we've only been going for 40 minutes, we'll probably play Pipe now. So if you're watching this and you're going to end it now, thanks for checking out the news this week. I did it live. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button because I come out with this BMX news video every single Friday 
as well as tips and tricks videos every Tuesday, other types of riding videos and streams kind of like this one, except with games and whatever else that we want to stream riding, anything like that. Those happen throughout the week. Thanks for checking this out and uh, we'll see you next time.